Hey folks, it's Mike here with The Quality Sportsman. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Garmin Zero C1 Chronograph. This little Doppler radar is pretty awesome and I'm really excited to check it out. Let's take a look. All right, here I am with the 6.5 Grendel that I built. Uh, I got the Garmin Zero uh, C1 set up downrange. It only took a few minutes to get set up on the app, which was really cool. Paired to my phone, super simple. Uh, ran me through all the directions. I was able to pick my bullet weight and everything, and it told me how far to place it from the barrel. So it could have been easier. Didn't have to read any directions or anything. Uh, let's go ahead and see how it works. As always, don't forget your safety gear, especially when you're hand loading your own ammo. Today I got three different loads I'm going to try, see if they chrono consistently. Uh, first up, I got 29.5 grains of ramshot tack, pushing a 100 grain Hornady ELD match. Twenty-seven thirty-four. Twenty-seven fifty-three. Twenty-seven thirty-two. All right, just got back from the bench to have right up here, my convenient little twenty-five yard home range. Uh, what I noticed was uh, this is a sloppy mistake for me. Is I actually mixed in Hornady and Lapua brass. Um, so I'll have to check the casings that I fired before, uh, but now I got all three Lapua brass with 30.1 grams of ram shot tack. Uh, let's see if we can get some more consistency on the Garmin Zero. 2744. I like it. So let's do some pistol. Uh, personally, I don't really have a use for chronoing pistol rounds, uh, but if you shoot, you know, pistol matches, uh, you may have to consider power factor. And one of the ways you're going to get that is by knowing the weight of your bullet and how fast it's going. So uh, let's go ahead and see how this does uh, with a couple of shots from my Springfield XDM. Shooting 115 grain FMJ uh, factory ammo, five to 15 inches above. This might be a case where it would be handy to have a taller tripod for this thing. I have to get pretty low here. This will be fun. Ah, heck, let's just go kneeling. 1150. 1140. All right, uh, bow hunting is also a passion of mine. So, you know, I thought, why don't we try it with the bow and see how fast my arrow is going. Uh, I have a... Another thing that I wanted to test is my target is only five yards out here max. So I'm really curious uh, if this will work for people that don't have a lot of space in their yard, they could set it up in their garage and get some velocity in a real short distance. So let's go ahead and see how that works. So here on the unit, I'll select bow, enter the weight of your projectile to get accurate kinetic energy values. Let's go ahead and try yes. All right, so it wants me to shoot five to 15 inches above 
the unit. Might struggle with height here. Let's see if I can figure this out. Two seventy three point one. All right, let's try again. Two seventy six point seven. All right. All right, we just got back from doing some shooting. We shot the AR, we shot the bow, we shot the pistol. Uh, and man, I can't tell you enough, I really love this thing. Uh, first of all, it was super easy to use. Uh, I didn't, it, it didn't even come with directions. I turned it on, scanned a QR code, downloaded the app, and it was super user friendly. Uh, that, that's always super important to me is how quickly can I get up and running without diving into manuals and trying to figure stuff out. Very intuitive. Uh, it, it was easy to figure out uh, how to set up a new session, how to look at the stats of a session, get your standard deviation from rifle loads, which uh, is really important to me uh, as I'm trying to shoot long range. Um, so ease of use is definitely a 10 out of 10. Uh, second on the list is how practical is it to use? I found this unit very practical. I mean, I just had to set it up right next to my rifle, uh, told me, you know, how far from the barrel it needed to be, uh, side to side, front to back. Uh, and, and I never had one time where it didn't uh, pick up my, my velocity. Uh, set it on the table next to me. Uh, you know, I could really see going to the range and shooting steel with this thing right next to your barrel, uh, getting some target practice in, and getting a lot of data about uh, you know how your velocity is uh, over the course of a, a shooting session. So with the bow, it was a little challenging. You saw I had to get down on on one knee. It wanted the arrow to come over top of it and be within five to fifteen inches. Uh, so that was a little tricky. But again, that was way easier than trying to shoot through uh, those little wickets on the older style chronographs. Uh, and I don't know if any any lab radar or any magneto speed or anything would even work on a bow. I think those are only, rifle only products. Um, so I, again, it, it was a, a little tricky to figure out the positioning. You know, if I put more time into it, I could have found a better height table or something like that. You know, uh, maybe it would be cool to to get a little tripod. This is just a little uh, standard screw mount, um, something like that, so that you can really get the positioning right and, and feel comfortable while you're shooting. The price on this thing is about $600. Um, I, I couldn't find any military or LEO discounts out there. I do believe Garmin gives 10% on some of their products, but uh, maybe because this is a new product, they're not offering that, not really sure. Uh, but I, you know, obviously I, I didn't get this for free or at a discount or anything. I paid, paid my own money for it, I paid 600 bucks. Um, and man, I think this thing is well worth it. I know it's ex more expensive than uh, traditional style chronograph, but the benefits are there. Uh, I, I'm really happy with this price point of this unit. Another thing I really like about it is the size. I mean, look at this thing. This can go in your backpack and your range bag. You can pull it out when you need to. It's got this cool little tripod that works perfectly. I mean, I, I don't really know how much smaller than this we can get. I'm really excited to get out to the range some more with this. All in all, I think this is a fantastic product. Uh, looking at some of the other options out there, this has to be one of the neatest innovations. Uh, little tabletop GoPro sized Doppler radar uh, that from all I can tell seems super accurate uh, and records data, connects to your Bluetooth app on your phone. I mean, this is it guys. So I really love this thing. Uh, Again, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of a 10. It's so cool, I can't wait to get it out and shoot some more. I'm really excited for it to help me dial in my reloading. And, and I really think uh, along with a Kestrel and something like that, this is really gonna help you uh, dial in your long range shooting. So if it were me, I would not feel bad about spending money on this unit. I mean, actually I don't. So uh, there we have it. If I were you, I would go out and buy one right now. Take care. We'll see you next time.